Hello everybody and welcome to the next part of Divinity 2 with me, Captain Compromise. What happened on the last episode? Well, uh, quite a lot actually. We saved um, the bridge keeper from the Void Woken. We went to Gareth's family farm where we found him burying his uh, family members. Uh, we defeated some uh, uh, heroes, some ancient heroes, and found some loot chests that are scattered around that we can go and loot, I guess. <laughs> um, and we were heading into the Black Pit to try and um, get whatever Fane needs doing done. Villages. Some slain by Void Woken, others. Perhaps not. Ooh. So, without further ado, let us continue onwards. What is this? Cursed oil. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I may, depending on how this goes now, I may go back to the arena. Perhaps in this episode, perhaps in the next, we will see. Be grateful that you don't feel the need. Ah. Right, let us use spirit vision to see if there are any dead people here we can talk to. Because, oh, hello. Actually, there is one person. The spirit of a cook. The spirit of a matronly woman stands before you. She shakes her head as she soundlessly argues with someone unseen. A faint sound catches your ear, the rasp of metal upon leather, a sword unsheathed. The spirit's eyes bulge with panic. She raises her arms protectively. Place yourself between the spirit and whatever seems to be looming in front of a her. A chilling sensation passes right through you. For a moment, it sounds like you can hear a distant male voice utter a confused, huh? The woman's eyes seem to fix upon you, a brief flash of lucidity. Interesting. Big Magister did this. He didn't care that I was innocent. I heard them call him Stanley as I bled out on the ground. The moment passes. There's another swish of metal through the air. The spirit collapses backwards, a silver gash opening the full width of her torso. Oh, lovely. Oh, and she's dead. Her uh, dead spirit is dead. We check these. And we will enter the Black Pit. Executed civilian. Are they These going to be slain by blades? Not uh, They're happy. Oh, they're, I wouldn't say they're happy. The tension's low, so they're not too bothered that I'm here. Take all of that. Hello, spirit. Let's go and talk to Spirit of Commoner. More slaughter. The spirit of a dwarf woman stares despondently at her body and those of her loved ones. A word of the wise, friend. Never help a sorcerer. They'll only bring death in their wake. Um. Ask what happened. She was aiding a sorcerer? No, not me. It was my bloody neighbours. Soft darts and softer wits, the lot of them. I did the right thing. Let the magisters know what was going mm, on. So it was your doing. But when they came for him, he conjured up all these monsters. The magisters were too busy helping themselves to save me and my own. Murdering sorcerer filth. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with this option. Scale that you... I'd like, oh, let me do this again. Scale that I am a sorcerer. None of this would have happened if we were not being persecuted. You're the same as the one who did this. Dragging monsters into our homes and taking none of the responsibility. Get away from me. Child, I'm going to loot, loot your corpse right in front of you. Let's see what our party has to say. The stench of dead void woken assails you. The thought occurs, sorcerers caused this. Uh, surrender if you want, I've done nothing wrong. Source may have caused this, but only source can set it right. The magisters are blind to its light. Yes, correct. Source can be used for good or ill. That's what the Magisters need to learn. Indeed, I agree. What is in here? Screen! Is screen a spirit we can talk to? 
green is not a spirit we can talk to. The Savants of Stone Garden. Uh, I'm not going to read that. I uh, just thought maybe, perhaps, it might be some update for the uh, quest we have. Uh, it seemed to be much rotting eggs. Uh, I'm not going to take those. Uh, they don't weigh anything, so give that to Ifa and you can sell them. Sheet of paper. Give me them papes. We go and finish looting this and we will be on our way. Hello. There's a path up here that uh, we can get to by walking. Not sure there's any reason to be there though. We'll, we'll see when we go up there. Ooh. Right. Uh, start by going up here, I guess. Oh, that's why it's called the Black Pits. It does oil. That's a sentence that makes sense, isn't it? It does oil. Right, let's go and talk to Magister Brute. Oh, that's a, that's not your name. You are just a Magister Brute. Gotcha. I'll give you fair warning, stranger. Turn around and get out of here unless you want to end up like this treacherous filth. He throws a kick into the ribs of a nearby corpse. Um. Ba -ba -ba, glance at the nearby bodies and ask what they did to deserve this. What they did deserved a lot worse than what they got. This lot were sorcerer sympathizers. Good Magus has died thanks to the one they were hiding. He gestures around at the void woken wrought destruction in the area. They forced our hand. We've got to do whatever's necessary to hold the rot at bay. Uh, I'm going to let it drop for now and we'll see what else is going on. Smart move. Smarter than this lot anyway. Ooh, it's level yep. 13. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm done with you. An execution is made. Hovers inches above a young woman's throat. Ooh. The nearby magister drones a prayer with all the passion of a silent monk's empty gaze. Am I going to have to fight these? The divine does not absolve a traitor of his grace. You've tended not to the seed the seven have planted. Without faith, it cannot flourish. Um. Call out to the magister. What is this woman's crime? He gives you a cool look and nods to a bloody corpse in magister's garb. That's the welcome the Crossleys give to law-abiding magisters. Sorcerers, though, they get bathed and fed. <laughs> Ain't that right, woman? The young woman squeezes her eyes shut in terror, but says nothing. The executioner raises his blade. Uh, Constitution insists she's but a girl. She shouldn't be punished for her parents' wrongdoings. Oh, damn it. The executioner slides his finger along the shivering woman's cheek. That's just cruel. Oh, but look at her. You're no girl, are you, my dear? You knew exactly what you were doing. He finishes the death right. And so on your flesh it must oh, be. Oh, God. The executioner moves to his next victim, a young man who promptly spits in the magister's face. The magister scowls, wipes away the sputum, and nods to the executioner. Uh, there is no prayer. Um. Go with... Uh, we'll go with memory. Say your history... Say that history does not remember tyrants fondly. He's about to write his own entry. A Bam! The gods will see me rewarded for bringing killers to justice. Who cares what shite the historians scribble in their ridiculous fables? The executioner's blade <sighs> drops with a sickening thud, and his eyes oh, turn God. to the remaining victims. I have to save these people, I think. The divine does not absolve a traitor of his grace. Oh! I can no longer stand by, show them the true power of source. Let's, let's get this over with, let's kill them. Do I want to kill them though? On the ropes. 
We discovered a party of Magisters executing an entire family. Not all of the Crowley family survived their encounter with the Magisters. Right, okay. Generous offer. We've entered the... Okay, yeah. Dark thing. We've entered the Black Pit. There's no sign of white Magisters, only Void Woken and Carnage. Ah. Oh. I'm going to have to kill them, aren't I? Because I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to no longer stand by. Show them the true power of Source. Sorcerer, slay him before he lures in more Void Woken. Right. Oh. You have next to no physical armor, so I'm going to go after you. With um. Hmm. Going to start by throwing my shield at you. Uh, okay, I can't. There's no... So I'm going to Phoenix Dive. Right in between both of them. Throw on silent. Then I'm going to throw my shield at you. And... Maybe I can set you ablaze. Right, so the way I figured this is... Damage dealers have armor. Mage casters have magic armor. So, if I do this, so this guy has next to no magic armor, so this should do quite a good job on him. Yep. Nice. He is now burning. Oh, good. Two misses. That's excellent. So. Am I going to do here? You have no more. Uh, you have loads of physical armor. So take that back. You have no physical armor. I'm going to use fire shot on you. And then, if I do that, it's going to hit. Ah, oh, I can do that. It'll hit three of them. And anyone who moves, I think that did hit me as well. Hello, brute. I didn't realise you were there behind me. So, so, so. I think I can do this. Critical hit, very nice. And then do this. I can hit three of them. Knocks down two. So. Mm, this is what I'm saying. Like, I think I should start working on this guy. Just to do... Over. No, no, I want spontaneous combustion on this guy. Start whittling him down. Um, what's this do to enemies? Oh, no, so this one. Uh, to enemies and undead allies. Or I could continue down the fire route. Oh, this is going to hit these two. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I may blow some things up. We'll see. And ignition should set those ones on fire. I'm actually going to hit all of them, which is very nice. I don't think this will be too much of a concern. It's not going to be a hard battle. Oh, nice. Move, 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 move. Oh, he's running away like a little baby. Ah, we're getting a lot of misses. This is really good. Hmm. Right, I need to read this. I've seen a lot of people say it doesn't affect allies. Yeah, knocking down non-allied characters in front of you. So, however, I kind of feel like I should just go balls deep on this guy here. Could you use blitz attack though. But that will jump between those two, hitting both of them. Who is this? Are you dead? No, that's me. Ignore. Oh, he switched positions with us. Right. Watch you. Can 
uh, hit him in two. No, it costs three action. I'm just going to keep on this guy for now. And I give myself... Oh yes, I'm going to give me some armor, Dalek. Mm. Going to use crippled, sh uh, crippling shot on him, so he can't move. Oh, that uses, right? That uses three moves. Uh, three action points, should I say? Hello. <sighs> Ow. That's not good. Wow. Nice. Okay. Going to... Oh, see, this is three again. I could do a knockdown and then a whirlwind. I think I'll do that. I don't think this knockdown is going to hit him, though. This will. This will definitely hit him. And we're going to block him in, hopefully. Can I use restaurant? No, I can't. I've blocked my own sight, so that's not good. Ow. This fight is kind of... I want to say this is almost over... Ow. So I can use Whirlwind. I will hit two of them. Then he does Mend. Oh, dude, I got a uh, few action points back. So I'm going to use Mend Metal. Give everyone some um, physical armor back. Ooh. I could do Petrifying Touch on it. I've never used Petrifying Touch before, so it'd be nice to see. Or we could use Infect. Infect is actually better because it's blocked by physical armor, which he has none of. Ow! He likes his freezing arrows, doesn't he? How many bloody turns does he get? This is a joke. I'm actually taking a lot of damage on this. Which uh, I don't like. Okay. Is that your turn done? It is your turn done. It's not going to kill him. So I'm going to use restoration on Ifan. I believe you need two more attacks. The battle stomp. Oh god, I can't bounce on. I'm just going to have to go in there and hit him. How much? You have lots of uh, magical armor left, so. I'm actually going to end this turn there again. Good. Good miss. Uh. Oh, I was frozen. Wonderful. You have basically nothing left. Is there any way I can hit both of you? Ah, there is. Do that. Oh no. I hit your fan as well. Ignition. Two of them are burning. Come on, die, Magister. Oh, wonderful. I think the Red Prince is definitely like a... I, I don't know, he's... Definitely our most tanky unit. I'm going to use Tactical Retreat to... That is not Tactical Retreat. Ah, oh, I cannot. I cannot use Tactical Retreat, so... I'm going to use this on you, I think. He's burning, so he might die next turn. 
use first aid on a look and fortify on this on himself yes lovely he's dead uh, I can't knock both of them down so I think I'm just gonna have to go ham both of them maybe cast blood rain I don't think it affects allies okay, except bleeding on enemies Could take away this guy's turn. I think I might do. He, yeah, there we go. He's petrified. I, I want to cast this. Oh, if Ant is burning now. Might be able to wipe this one out. So he is burning, so I might be able to do that on him. And I keep hitting if and by mistake. Um, do that on this time so he gets uh, the entanglement off of him. Good miss, good miss. I think we've got this, we've got this. Dude, I'm not even worried. You're done. Oh, we're not in range to do blitz attack. However, we can jump in behind this one. And fortify Dalek. That's a lot of experience. You have to move, like, oh, he can't move. I feel like I got rid of Entangled on him, though. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to use a health potion. And then, I think we can just kill him? No, no worries. Now, please get out of the fire. And we got a level, how lovely. Go and loot everything first. Dude, where are you going? Oh, he's going the long way. Right, come back down. We'll quickly loot and then we will level. There's someone else here. Just there's an inquisitor. Ooh, right of passage. Um, all oh, right, we've yes, we, we have one of those. So, large scale helmet. Oh, lace scaled. Sorry, that seems tough. That's tough. Sure, why not? Origin of Lucian Book of Rhyme. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else of interest in here. So, come out here, we'll quickly level. So, what do we want? You're doing fine on. Uh, can actually take this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Why not? That's cost co uh, cost source though. So and necromancy at three. I think um if a leadership constitution and. Thanks. Why not? 
Spain, my friend. Getting plus five from gear, that's crazy. How are you doing on skills? You can actually take... Before I do that... I'm actually going to take all of these off. I don't need these there. So... Bone cage, you can't actually use that. You can't use that. So, why on earth did I remove those? No idea. Uh, guess we're just gonna go constitution and memory. Oh, we didn't do your skills. Um, bum 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 bum. So, perseverance. Let's keep, keep leveling up perseverance. If I... Nah. Uh, I think more damage reflected for you. Or finesse. And... Ooh. Another point in constitution. Keep you healthy. Obviously these two are going like that. And I think another point into... Four-handed. Very nice, and we are done. Let's go and talk to these people after stealing their things. Hello, Adonia. The woman tearfully stretches her bound hands towards you. Set them free. The grieving mother manages a thin smile, even as tears stream down her ruddy face. Thank you, stranger. She blinks out more tears, then rubs them away with the back of her hand and puts on the bravest of faces. To lose a child. It's a mother's worst fear. I never imagined. Um, ask what happened here. It's true. What the Magister said, I mean. My brother's boy Gideon. He's got source in him. Now that his folks are gone, we've all he's got. He's been staying with us. We thought we could keep him safe. He's not got a spot of malice. He can't help who he is. But when the Magisters came snooping, he panicked. We all did. She glances at the Magister corpse and shivers. Another tear drips down her cheek. Shouldn't have let that Hanag woman near Gid. She said she could teach him, but that's when all the trouble started. Uh, ask more. I want to go with this, but I want to ask more about Hanag. She might be able to help us. Lizard lady, impeccable robes, <coughs> came by here one day saying she could sense the source. She could help Gid, she said. He took to her right away. Soon, the Void Woken came, and then the Magister started knocking. Uh, note that is Gideon, is that how she pronounces it? Gideon's not with her, Where, where's he gone? As soon as the Magister fell, Gid knew what he'd done. He didn't even struggle when they dragged him away. Gods know where they took him. I've already lost more than I can bear today. I pray to the Seven I haven't lost him too. Tell her you will look for Gideon. You will? Oh, bless you. Bless you. She ekes out another thin smile. Make sure he's safe. And if you can, bring him back to me. I will do. <sighs> Window of opportunity. And on the ropes. Um, Adonia Crosley has asked us to find her nephew Gideon Thanks, and send stranger. him home. She said that the Magister to believe him as to be a sorcerer. Not yet. Shush, 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 shush. Meaning that he's likely to be killed or purged if they catch him. Right, okay. And where's the other guy gone? Other guy? Where are you? Oh, Ellis, here you are. Father weeps uncontrollably. Okay, leave him to his grieving. Let us continue onwards. A lot of stuff down here. An oil stained key, I will take that. Amneth Amnethyst Deceiver is this sorcery. I'm only going to take one just because I don't know what it does. Also, there's something back here. There's a chest back here. How do I get there? 
I'm going to see if I can use um, the red print. No, not, sorry, Ifan's tactical retreat over this side. I can't, but I might be able to use it down here. Is it locked? It is not locked. So why can I not see that? That's annoying. Let's go up here and talk to this dwarf. Are these going to be pissed at me if I go over there and talk to them? Perhaps, perhaps not. Wil Wilty, I'm not going to hurt you. Like I told them magisters, the sorcerer ain't here. He's holed up in that crossly house yonder. Um... Aha. Now her the Magister spilled blood at the Crosley house. Crosley blood. The colour drains from her face. Well, I... I didn't mean... Obviously, look, serves them right for shelter and sorcerers. Um... Tell her to run. The way is clear, you think. The Magister's told me to stand out front till they caught the sorcerer, and I don't want to upset them when they're on the warpath. Um, tell her to close her eyes and keep telling herself that everything's going to be all right. She closes her eyes and begins to whisper. Everything's going to be all right. 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 Okay. Uh, I can't get in there. Oh, I can. Excellent. No, don't close the door. In here. Can't see me from here. It's like, ooh, pistols. And some trash gloves we don't care about. Ooh, there's a hatch. No, 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 open this be the Oh, we've seen that before. We don't need to read it again. Uh oh, I don't care about that. Don't care about any of this. And check this out. I'm guessing hatch will lead us into this area here yes guessing we will come out there but i kind of want to kill these magisters and i'm being perfectly honest with you so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a quick save go down and talk to magister grimes who are you show him ryman's seal of authority tell him to open the gate suspicious he examines the document on realizing it's real, he hands it back, then stands to attention. Oh, very nice. I apologize. I didn't know. Admission granted. You, there, guard. Admission granted. Accept the apology. Tell him he's doing a fine job. Relieved, he gives you a stiff salute. Eyes forward. Take your leave, returning his salute. Okay, that was easy enough. Is there anything over here worth looking at? What are they doing? There is a hatch there. No, no, come to you. When he comes out, lads, kill him. He turns towards you. Then he breathes deeply through his nose, his tongue ah. extended, as if he were tasting the air. Since when does rape hire mercenaries? Uh, brush the question aside. With authority in your voice, ask him what's going on. The sorcerer is trapped in the cellar beneath the house. He's dropped one magister, but he won't drop another. We don't need you. Note that the dead sorcerer, uh, the dead magister was killed with a bladed weapon, not with source magic. Seen a wound before, have you, Merc? That blade was touched with source. Gilgalion suffered before he died. Between you and me, he went a little mad. That was no ordinary blade. That was a sorcerer's weapon. Uh, show him what magister Raymond's papers of authority. Tell him you're taking These over. papers say you're an inquisitor. You don't look like an Inquisitor. You don't smell like an Inquisitor. Uh, we're going to go with Memory and Soldier. Tell him to obey orders or by Lucian you'll see him drummed out of the order. Hey! He calmly meets your gaze. Oh, you smell bad, Merc. But it's all yours. If you ask me, the Sorcerer's already dead. But go ahead, you be my guest. First, you'll have to put the fire out. At least enough to reach the cellar hatch. I Stand can reach back, it from lads. here. The Merc's here's gonna show us how it's done. 
He's gonna bring the sorcerer out unarmed. Because between you and me, if he comes out here armed, we'll kill him on the spot. Uh, let's talk to our party quickly. The thought occurs. The Magisters have strayed from the path of Lucian. Um, the Magisters have lost their souls. I smell Dallas in this. The louder people shout in a god's name, the duller becomes their understanding of its message. Lucian would be appalled. Indeed, that's how religion works, I'm afraid. Were they ever on it? Uh, we should be able to just make it through there, so... Quick save and just run for it. Owen and Charette. Lockpick, ooh. Gold black ring shield. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That is crazy good. I'm taking that. Dude, you have got yourself a new shield. Stand back there. Going to lose initiative, but I think I'm okay with that. Well, what's these numbers on the left? Physical armor, magic armor. Boom! Look at that. That's crazy good. Right, let us talk to Owen. The man brandishes a sword, ready to fight. A curious weapon, simple but weighty. It seems out of place in the hands of a simple worker, if that's what he is. You have your doubts, for the sword exudes an evil power. Back, Magister, or I'll cut your guts for ribbons like I did the last fella. Um... Tell him you're no Magister, and he's in deep. You know what. I, I don't know that. They think I'm a sorcerer. They're wrong. Uh, I don't think I actually care about his sword, so... Uh, no, let's try it. Let's try our luck. Soldier, you have an idea. Tell him you want his sword. My sword? Let me tell you something. I fought in the Great War. I took this weapon from a Black Ring Scout I killed with my own bare hands. Then I came home to work, and work I did. And what was my reward? This is my reward. My house burned down, my neighbours killed, and by magisters, one of whom I killed. And you would take my sword. Uh, order him to give you his sword on the double. He gives you a long look. Ah, then, with a flourish, easy. he spins the sword towards you, hilt first. It's a simple weapon, weighty, well-made, and well-maintained. It's clean, but it feels tainted. Um... Uh, tell him to wait here. It will soon be safe to put out the fire and save what he, he can. Knows. You turn away. Right, we didn't actually read that prompt. Yes, you can save what you want, but I'm going to take the rest. Hmm. Right, let's read this no way out. Um, we spoke to the man, he told us he, that he's no sorcerer, only that he killed a magister in order to, to defend his home. Uh, we didn't read these two, but we'll ignore that for now. We convinced the man to leave his house unarmed. Window of opportunity, we learned a sorcerer named Hanag, who served uh, Gideon's as Stand Gideon's teacher. Right, let's leave. Ha. Did you fail, Burke? Um... Tell him he's a fool. The man was no sorcerer. I'll be the judge of that, Merc. Uh, tell him he's dead. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that, Merc. I'll need proof. Um, ignore I'm him. Keep looking. Hey, lads. Oh, here we go. Get him. And we're in fire. Lovely. They're coming into the fire as well. I want to quickly check this weapon. 50 to 55 physically. That seems rather nice. Inquisitor and the Ranger. Can I get... No, I can't get three of them. we we'll cast this here. Is there any place we can tactically retreat to? Don't believe so. Right, we'll sky shot on 
Dude, you have no physical armor. He is suffocating. Wow. What level are these? These are level... Where are you? They are there. These are level 13. I can get out here, which I think I'm going to do. Pop one. Knock two. Knock two. Okay, it looks like we're killing all of them. I'm actually fine with this. Dude. Right, this should not hit my own. Although I feel that it will do. So if I cast this here. Mm, I could. No, that's not going to work. Try and entangle these two here. Okay, right, yes. Magic armor. I completely forgot. Do ignition instead. Oh, I'm going to have to start whittling this one down, aren't I? Okay, one's dead. Update. No way out. The Magisters are dead. Well, one of them is, at least. Um, I'm going to have to start beating on this one, aren't I? Oh, not enough AP. Blitz attack. No, block vision. Dude! Yes. Dude, sweet roundhouse kick. Okay, I have to move. But as much as I hate it, I'm going to do that. Courage, everyone. Just shoot him. Yeah, nice one, bro. Nice. Ow. Bane is eating it. He's eating it hard. Still have mm, physical armor. Burn you. Can I cast this on? I uh, cannot. Ah! Uh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to try and knock him, honestly. Hey, yeah, good, 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 good. Um. Then we can burn him, I guess. I wish I could fortify Fane, but I can't, so I'm going to save that action. However, what I can do... Go here. Mend the metal. And then... Do, uh, shackle the pain on him, so when I burn, he should take damage as well. I need to leave. I don't know if... Oh, I can't move. I'm crippled. I'm going to poison. Um, bum, 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 bum. Which one gets rid of... This gets rid of crippled. So I should no longer be crippled. Which means I can move out of the fire. Clear mind on. Burn uh, yourself, why not? Dude, you took tons of damage from me. That's a big miss. Another big miss. He's, he's going down. Going down this turn. Lovely. Oh, this, this, well, this guy's still alive, yes. Dude, you're gonna get yourself killed.
Uh, um, one Magister Patroller. Let's finish him off. Get out of the fire, please. Hey. Right, so those guys at the gate are not hostile towards us anymore. Sorry. Can we talk to him again? This was my father's house. He sighs. Ask him what we'll do now. Well, there's nothing left for me here. If he were the crying type, he'd shed a tear. But that doesn't seem to be his way. You leave him to it. Okay, no way out. I think we've done that. It's finished. This was my dead father's house. Sorry. I think I know how I can get over there. It is going to uh, mean that I'm going to have to use the water arrow. Please come here. Actually, just run. Dude, it totally works. Huge healing potion. Heals 870. That's crazy. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Don't have all day. Oh, dude, I can just totally get back over here. Right, let us go. Are you going to attack me now? I don't think they. Oh, they're going to attack me now. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's on cooldown. No, why? Oh, you, you're a marksman, so you're probably not going to move. So let's do this here. I want to hit him with magic. Hit him with his... Uh, basically, these are all magic, really. Whittle this one down. Even though he's had his turns, it's probably not the smartest move. Oh, wonderful, he has that skill as well. I might be able to Phoenix dive up to him now. That doesn't trigger it, which is nice. Throw my shield at him. Do that. Oh, we can do both. How lovely. 370. That's a hell of a lot. Dalek is eating it. He's eating it hard. I'm going to have to go after this one. Uh, so he has been knocked down. Um, resisted by physical armor. Resisted by magic armor. Can't do in fact. Is this from physical? Um, hit him, I guess. Nice. So you there, you're going to need to be whittled down with uh your magic armor. Is it your weakest one? And the gates are on fire, lovely. I'm just thinking, up here I might not be able to hit anyone. Let's try it. Oh, dude, you can totally hit them all. That's awesome. 
Who's crippling a shot on you? She can't move. That bothers me very little. Uh, I'm just going to keep pounding on you. Oh! Yeah, I'm just going to keep pounding on you till you're dead. Shields up is a skill I don't like enemies having. Did he just kill his own? No, he almost killed his own Magister. Uh, I can hit both of you with this. I'm going to do that. In blood rain. You might die, I don't know. Will this set him on fire? Let's have a look. No. I'd rather just hit this one, to be honest. Oh, dude, that cost a source point. I did not know that. It's gone fire. Nice. Can't hit him for whatever reason. Let's shoot you. I'm going to shoot you twice, but I'm going to cast this first. You are dusted. I will hit him. And then... Fortify... Oh, I can't. I mean, I could blitz attack, but that's, I think that's going to put me into the fire. Oh, do it. Goodbye, Grimes. Ow. Infect sets, uh, what's it? Infected. Oh, obviously. Diseased. This is actually very good to use. I can, I can go and hit him. Wow. Ooh. Oh god, that's not going to reach. I just use... Mission. And then haste the red prince. Cool. And clear mind. Uh hey look, I guess. In turn. Smack him clean. Oh, he might be done. He's very close to being done. Ah! And Fane can get the kill. Uh, Ifan, sorry. Ifan. Ifan and Fane, they're very similar. Right. Quickly loot these. Oh, the door's gone. Unidentified chest armor. Wow! What, 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 wow. You are taking this, my friend. Let me sort that out. He has so much magical armor now, but he looks like an absolute bell end. Give these to him. Like that. Freezing arrows, give those to him as well. Healing potion, trap disarming kit, and an empty bottle. Let's go back to talk to this dwarf. Maybe she will run away now. Eyes closed. She repeats the. 
All oh, right, okay. There's nothing else we can do there for her. We get all the bodies. I think we did. So it looks like we're going on a Magister killing spree here. Still so much to do here. We've only done this little part here. We've got to do all of this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's going to take us a while, I feel. However, that is going to conclude this episode. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. But until then, thanks for watching.